Hello my lovelies, Sophia here, Psychic Tarot Reader, Personal Mentor. Welcome back to my channel, Sophia Psychic Tarot. So today's pick a card reading is just a message from your person. It's not a channeled reading, it's just, you know, any messages that come through. And then some advice for you from spirit going forward in the connection. So we have the three piles, one, two and three. And the timestamps are in the description box below the video. For my lovelies who chose pile number one, let's have a look and see what comes through. So, dear spirit guides and angels, any messages for the viewer from their person who chose number one? Okay, there seems, um, let me just put one more. Oh, what's falling over now? Okay. Um, there's going to be movement from your person or somebody wants to come forward to you here. They're very passionate about you. It's somebody you've known before. It's somebody from your past or that you've had a previous life with. Um, but um, this person, male or female, is the emperor, is going to have be having um, a sort of wake up call, um, a tower moment in their lives that is enabling them to sort of be wise and suddenly realise that it's you that they want. So that's good. Um, yeah, they, you know, not only have they got passion for you as well, but they, you know, do very much love you. There's a lot of feelings there for you. Um, so there needs to be some balance I'm here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So there needs to be some balance I'm hearing with that, okay? Um, your person has gone through a lot as well, okay? They've gone through a lot of stormy water and they're now trying to get things, weigh things up in their life. And this tower moment from spirit is like, you know, you need to be doing something here. You've got all these feelings for you, the viewer, okay? But you're holding back, okay? So they need to be doing something about it. Yeah, they've been, um, their ships are coming in now, okay? So they, and that card for me is also talks. So they do want to talk to you if you're in no contact, but also even if you are in contact, then they will be opening up more to you. They are realising that you are the person they want to be with, put it that way. Um, this card is like my two of cups. Okay, so um, yes, again, this very much love here. This person is just you know so in love with you. They want to be with you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, they may have been working on a plan. They have may have been you know, finding it hard work being apart from you or, you know, working at something. It's a card about building something on a more solid foundation as well. And that's what the tower is for me as well. You know, it's like the man who built his house on sand. It was washed away so that he could build it on the rock on a more solid foundation if he chose to. He could have just walked away. Um, yeah, movement again. Okay, this relationship or this connection is moving forward. We started off with movement and we're ending with movement. So your person is going to have a tower moment, a wake up call to make them realise that you are the person that they want to have, a, you know, the future with. 
okay they are very sincere they're very loving they're very passionate about you they are getting things sorted out and there is movement with them coming back so let's just have a look at some of these for them um yeah it has been hard work okay it's been hard work for them as well as you okay and that's why that one was there as well but sudden well so you know you're going to hit the jackpot um yeah the world they see you as their world you are the person that they want to be with There may have been religious factors, there may have been third parties, um, but whatever, or just their own, you know, upbringing and spiritual path and beliefs, okay, um, but they've worked through that. They are going to have this tower moment, you know, they are going to have this tower moment. Yeah, and again, balance. Remember I said here about balance. Um, getting that balance, weighing things up. So in their mind and in their heart, they've now got that balance. They know what they want, okay? It may not be today, but it is coming in. So let's look at advice for you because your person is coming forward. So what can you do in the meantime in this connection? So Archangel Michael, what advice do you have for the viewer who chose part number one? Um, eternal love okay so keep giving out the energy of love towards your person which will draw them in okay don't be doubting this don't be in your head with opposing or negative thoughts thinking that they don't love you it's never going to happen okay this person is on their way back to you so send out love to them help me perceive all the love that surrounds me so that i can feel safe receiving expressing and giving love sending yeah being positive okay surround yourself with positive people and situations and avoid negativity but also that is sending out powerful positive energy you are the alchemist okay whatever you touch can turn to gold if you desire this person they are yours you may have been following the get them back playlist and drawing them back in well keep going because it's working your person is being drawn back to you um communication is key and hold on to your vision so communication doesn't have to be verbally, it can be with your energy. You're communicating with the energy you're putting out there. So make sure it's positive and a loving energy rather than, a, you know, if you're opening your arms, you're welcoming things to you. If you're opening your heart to love, you're drawing that person to you. If you stood there with your arms closed, you know, folded, stamping your foot, okay, you're repelling them. Nobody wants to come towards you if you are in an aggressive resentment anger jealous rage okay so be positive this is the advice for you remember tarot readings are never set in stone it's for guidance you can of course have your own readings or anything else that i offer in the description box below Okay, yeah, exactly. If you're on the defensive, okay, if you are like ready to chop the head off, okay, or certain bits of them, then they're not going to come want to come towards you. So drop your guard. I don't mean, you know, so that you're wide open. I mean, you know, drop the anger. 
resentment, doubts, insecurities, fears, whatever, okay? And send out this love and positive energy to them and hold your vision that if you desire this person, then they're yours and they want to come back to you. So my lovelies, I'll leave this with you, love and light. For my lovelies who chose power number two, Let's have a look and see what message we get for you and then from your person and then um, I'll look at advice for you going forward in the connection. So a message from viewers, person who chose number two. Okay, we have the eight of cups. Oh, I got these upside down yet. Okay, so your person is feeling very emotional, okay, I'm getting. They are wanting to turn their back on wherever they are in order to be with you. It's, if you've been manifesting them, okay, if you've been following the Get Them Back playlist for those of you that have, okay, then you are drawing them to you like a moth to the flame, okay, they can't resist you, they're hearing you. She suddenly stopped playing her music, she's turned around, okay, she's hearing, or oh, he is hearing you, okay. Um, so you, it's working. You're like a beacon. Remember, your positive energy goes out there. What you think, say and feel goes out of you. OK, so if you've been sending out positive energies, love, knowing that your person is yours. OK, it's drawing them back in that they have heard you. OK, they are not happy where they are. They may have been having sleepless nights. It may be that they are feeling this heartache now because they're hearing you. They could be rowing with somebody or arguing with somebody where they are. Okay. Um, family members or an SP, um, not an SP, a third party. Okay. So whatever you're doing, keep guiding them in. Um, yeah, they're wanting to come forward, okay, and offer you more, something more solid, a firmer foundation than before, okay, yeah, the, um, you know, the seeds that you sowed before with this person, things you talked about, the future that you thought you had with this person, if you are now in no contact or even if you're in contact and you've been making plans, they are going to come into fruition, OK, you're going to start to see the fruits of the labour here. So your person is saying there, I'm hearing you. OK, I'm not happy where I am. You're drawing me back. I'm coming back. We are going to have the future that we spoke about. Um, yep, yeah, so keep, um, you yeah, know, two things. OK, I'm getting, you know, it's paying off, I'm hearing. I'm paying, hearing. The hard work is paying off. Um, you know, this is your lovely romantic future together. Your person is dreaming of this as well as you. So keep calling them in. <coughs> Excuse me. Too many, sorry. Okay, so they are coming into their power. They know that it's you that they want. And I feel f from that that they've known for some time. Okay, they've known for, you know, a couple of months that you are definitely the person they want. Um, yeah, to have this happy home with. I'm getting sort of when I'm looking at these from sort of September, October time is when or early November, your person has really been. Um, you know, if like I say, if you've been following the Get Them Back playlist and you've been working on getting them back, um, they are listening now. OK, they are being drawn back to you here. Um, 
but also I think, you know, even if you haven't been doing that, then since the autumn, September, October, November, they've realised that you're the person that they want to be with. Um, yeah, they just need to do the final release. But again, this beacon, okay, keep being like this beacon because your energies are attracting them in. I don't know if you can see the beacon there, the light that she's looking at. Okay, they are releasing what they need to and you need to keep focusing on your positive energies. I expect it will come out with something like that for the advice for you. There is movement here. So let's just call in some other ones from them before we look at yours. So you're number two's person. Um, gift, yep, so it could be around your birthday, it could be around Christmas time. Um, again, you know, they have had a lot of this Three of Swords negative energy, but your thoughts have been guiding them back to you um yep and the romantic feelings are very much there for you your feelings are real and worth exploring but that's them okay so for you keep your eye okay on your targeted intention keep your arrow focused on this person knowing that you're good enough and worthy enough okay because it's drawing them back in um boundaries um I'm getting from that that they, because this is them, they've set boundaries around themselves as in they're not putting up with any more crap with where they are or they have put boundaries on themselves like, you know, I can love, I'm not scared anymore, I can go forward is what I'm hearing. So that is them. They are hearing you if for those of you who are calling them back in, okay? For those of you who haven't been calling them back in, your heart desires this person anyway, or else you wouldn't be watching readings if you weren't interested in this person. So, you know, if your heart desires them, then keep calling them in, but be, do it from a positive energy, not a lower energy. Your negative energies of resentment, anger, fear, insecurities, doubts, okay, we'll push them away. It will ju it'll just take longer, that's all. I see it a lot with my clients, um, my mentoring clients as well. So go to success. If you're new here, go in, into the Get Them Back playlist and go and listen to success story number eight. Um, Archangel Michael, what advice do you have for the viewer who chose part number two? Um, forgive yourself you've done nothing wrong okay so um, let go of self-blame and for um, toxic anger or fear towards others thank you Archangel Michael for allowing me to feel centered and at peace what I've just said okay if you are haven't been doing following the get them back playlist and consciously calling your person back in for those of you who are still in toxic anger or fear okay or resentment or blame then you need to release that. Um, alchemy, yes, you know, you are the powerful creator of your reality. You create. Your thoughts create. You have a thought, it goes into your subconscious mind and it gets projected out. 
okay everyone is you pushed out and i have a video on that in my get them back playlist so keep being the magician whatever you're doing with these two beacons you are the magician calling them back in Um, so take time to breathe out okay take time to breathe don't focus on it too hard okay just surrender to the divine you don't think about how it's going to happen or when you just decide what you want and why the universe will bring you how it happens and when it happens because it will be in a way that you can't even think about so don't even bother trying to control it if you're stood there with your arms closed Okay, then the universe can't give it to you. If you open your arms to love and you're sending out love to this person, then the universe can bring them to you. So let's just finish one more for you. Okay. Don't keep yourself, don't feel that you're out in the cold. Okay. Everyone is you pushed out. You could quite easily go in and knock on or go up to this house and knock on the door. You don't have to be freezing cold. So even if your person, you haven't heard from them, you're in no contact. OK, this person is passionate about you. They are hearing you if you are calling them back in. So keep going just because they're not here today doesn't mean it's not going to happen tomorrow or the day after or the week after that. So keep being the powerful magician. Take time to breathe out and surrender to the divine. OK, let go of any toxic anger or fear or resentment or hatred or whatever you have. OK, because you're drawing your person back in. They, you know, it will help them release what they need to release in order to be with you. So I'll leave this with you. Love and light. For my lovelies who chose part number three, let's have a look at any messages from your person and then we will look at some advice for you going forward. Okay, your person, you may be manifesting your person back, okay, or your person may be consciously manifesting you back into their lives. They're wanting to be with you, they're deciding what they want to do, but you see this sort of lightning around your head, they're not sure how you're going to react. They're not sure if, say you've gone into no contact and it ended on bad terms or a row or you had, you know... Um, you were angry with them or disappointed with them okay they're not sure how you're going to react if you're still in this frame of mind so they are still thinking here very much in hermit mode you know do i approach this person do i come back to them Um, they do see you as the person that they want to be with. They see you as very loving. You know, you're the person that they're passionate about. Um, this past connection, you know, whether you've dated this person before or not, um, then, you know, this past connection is too strong. OK, it will never break until you decide you want to break it. Not them, you. So many people think that it's the other person that rules your life. No, you are the powerful creator. It doesn't matter what the current circumstances are. If you desire that person, they're yours for as long as you desire them for. So this person feels that connection because you're still desiring them. You know, you're still watching tarot readings on how this person feels about you or what message they want to give you. So you're obviously still attached to this person and they're feeling that. But their ego side 
okay their logical analytical mind is yes i really want to i really love viewer number three but are they in a mood with me how are they going to react if i reach out to them because i haven't spoken to them for god knows how long or if you are in contact then they've been messing around and not you know being fruitful enough well now they're ready to they've got to sort of release that ego side of themselves the king of cups yeah they love you very much they love you very much they want this happiness and communication with you um so they are there are going to be some major changes around this person. There's going to be changes around your person. You know, spirit might give them a tower moment. Spirit might um, help them release their ego, you know, all fears and doubts and insecurities that they're having. Okay, as well. So um, there are going to be changes here. So that they can come forward to you and offer you this love. Um, they're just still a bit like the hermit still a bit lost okay so at the moment I think that's why spirit is like going to try and guide them back to you and intervene if you like because they want to be with you there's just something they are caught up on here um, yep yeah, so that they can come forward and propose to you you know I don't mean marriage necessarily and they're not going to suddenly turn up on your doorstep and say, can we get married when they haven't seen you for ages? OK, but making that offer of commitment to you, I want another go. Can we start again? There's just some things that they that needs to be released first. So carry on being like this beacon. Go to the Get Them Back playlist. Start drawing them back in. You know, view and um, success story number eight was a perfect example for you. Um, let's go on to them still. Message for viewer from their person. Um, there's false people around them. They may have a third party person that they're with. It may be that the family are trying or friends are trying to tell them, no, that you're not good enough. You know, they may have been saying to people, you know, I want to be back with you and their friends or family are like, why? And this, that and the other. OK, so there's false people around them. But, I, you know, they're going to find that out anyway. Um, yeah, things are going to be revealed to them. So that they can come forward to you. <coughs> um, they just need to clear their energy and release. Like I said, you know, at the bottom of the deck on the other one. They've got things that they need to release. Whether it is their own egotistical thoughts thinking that you might reject them that you don't want them anymore um or you know that fear of rejection from you if they haven't been in contact for a while it may be that they just need to release these false people around them here yeah. in order to be free to move forward to you Um, creation yeah they are this talks about you know creating what you want manifesting you are the creator of your world so with them having the magician you know they are longing to be with you you're the person they want to be with but they've still got either false people around them or their own ego testicle thoughts to get over once they do that and release them they will come forward so you, when we look at your cards, well now, let's look what Archangel Michael wants to say to you about what you can be doing. Because your thoughts create. Everyone is you pushed out. A 
and for those of you who are new here I have a get them back playlist with all the videos that you need to get your person back and like I say success story number eight is very relevant okay you created this situation you have the power to change it why because everyone is you pushed out your beliefs, thoughts, opinions, assumptions of your person is how they are showing up in your current 3D. Whether you are in no contact or in contact, please guide me to manifest and heal according to divine will, creating peace and blessings for everyone involved. So send out love to this person so that they can come to you. Ready, set, go. Now is the perfect moment to dive in and embrace your heart's desire. It's like I've said in pile one and two. If you're stood there with your arms crossed, stamping your foot, okay, then you are repelling anything coming towards you. If you, you know, if you approach somebody who's got their arms crossed and they're stamping their foot because they are in angry with you or got resentment or their jealousy or doubts, fears and insecurities, okay, you're going to run a mile. Your energy, your thoughts, your spoken word and your feelings are what is transmitted from you out there for you to get it back. Your outside world is a mirror of your inner world. So whatever you're thinking on the inside and feeling and talking to other people about is what is going out there and that's what you're getting back. If you open your arms and embrace this love, Okay, your heart's desire. If this person is your heart's desire, you can have them. The only block is you. You created this situation. You have the power to change it. A lot of my clients say, well, I didn't. They just went. It doesn't matter. You reacted to them or you had your own thoughts, beliefs and assumptions and opinions that made this situation happen. You have the power to change it. Okay, so hold your vision. Ready, set, go. Dive into your heart's desire and embrace it and hold your vision. Yes, this is the person I want. Come hell or high water, this person is my man or this person is my woman. Claim them as yours. Know that they are yours. Stop putting them on the pedestal and stop giving them the power Take your power back because you create your reality, not them, not anybody else. Current circumstances do not matter. It doesn't matter if they live on the moon, if they are a totally different religion to you, if they have told you to drop dead, they're not interested. None of that matters. If you desire this person, they are yours. And the only block stopping you from having them is you. Okay, so know that this is your person. She sat here knowing and waiting with all this love and prettiness around her and the rainbow in the background here of hope. Just knowing that her person is hers and he's going to come back or she's going to come back and offer this security that you're waiting for. So embrace this. But if you're going to be there with all the chains and padlocks across the door across your heart and you're not opening up because you're stood there with your arms folded and your foot stamping okay they're not going to come forward so the choice is yours i'll leave this with you love and light